Hey mate, welcome back to my Sunday morning, my pretty much only morning or only any time really at the bench. So uh, today I'm going to crack on with the Zerinyi, the Hungarian Stug and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work on the frill tracks try to get one at least one length done um, maybe even have a little go at the figure don't know yet have to see what happens uh, and that's about it really um, depending on how long that takes I might do some more bits and pieces this afternoon see what the weather's like see what the dogs want to do you know that kind of thing so uh, as you know, last week i done all the running gear, that's all painted, all I've got to do is rubber black the tyres, I might do that a bit later, and uh, the gun breech barrel is all done, pretty much there's the uh, lower hole with the drive sprockets so really what I want to do is rubber black the rest of the tyres on the uh, return rollers get all that set up and then I'm ready to put the tracks on and then the bottom the lower hole will be complete so let's have a look and see what's occurring today so these are two <coughs> links joined together you can see the little holy 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 there you go and two little holes so the awkward thing especially for me with that gammy finger because I'm trying to hold it like that it's very painful on that knuckle so sometimes I just have to hold it like that <laughs> And what you got to do is get your bit of wire down there. If you can, you do have to do a bit of jiggling, especially with a gimpy finger like mine. And then I use a nothing special pair of sprue cutters, and there you go. That one's joined, and then try to cut it as close to the link as you can. Bingo, bango, bongo. There you've got a joined up track link. So if I get my super glue. I use this, it's a gel, so it's, and you just squeeze them things and the little dab comes out, and I use the lid because I'm a coffee drinker, I buy tins of Kenko Milicano, I use that side for super glue and what have you, filler, and then I use that side as a little paint uh, thing. So I turn that over, a little dab of Ken, uh, not Kenko, <laughs> super glue, I'm coffee mad, <laughs> get your little toothpick, cocktail stick, whatever you want to call it, a little bit on the end, dab it over the wire, and Bob is officially your mum's brother. And there you got one little track link. I know it looks a bit of a faff, but not as much as a faff as them plastic things that I tried to do last week. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crack on with this. Do a bit more. And then we're going to have a go at this 
and burnishing fluid. Now, I bought this. And if anyone can tell me, this is supposed to be the same sort of thing. Bluing or blackening, burnishing, whatever you call it. Why this doesn't work for these tracks because I've tried it. I tried it on the Stug that I built, the last one, the Dragon Stug. So I don't know what the difference between those two are, why that one works and that one doesn't. If anyone could tell me, give me a shout. So, I've put the, tr the tracks together. There is about 107 links on that. Now you get 240 in the box, so that equates to 120 per side. Um, I've just test fitted it around the sprockets of the tank that's still on my little jig. I've just test fitted it round there and it looks like to be about three links short. So I'm going to leave it there because it's a lot easier to add than it is to try and take away these once you've super glued them. So I'm going to stick them in the plastic. Should be plastic because I think it might react. Well, it tells you to do plastic, so I would imagine that it could react with metal. So I've got the run of track uh, links in there, and I'm going to put all the spare ones in there as well and uh, see what happens. So we've got the burnishing fluid. Pour that in. I'm wearing a black glove because it is dangerous stuff. You got me a little stirring stick. Stir that around. You can see it's already starting to go dark. Didn't take long, did it? So what I'm going to do now. Time now is 9.30 a.m. I'm going to go downstairs, make myself a cup of tea, a bit of breakfast. And I'll probably come back in about half an hour's time. And that should all be done. But, I mean, you can see how dark those links are already. It's only been a minute or two at the most. Right. So I'll leave that in there, put the lid back on that, and once again it's that. The last time I used this stuff I used wilder uh, burnishing fluid, but it was like only in a little tiny jar, like about that tall, so there wasn't that much in it. Swirl that around for another time. Right, that's it. I'm going to go and have a brew, and I'll see you in about half an hour. So, here it is. It was probably about half an hour, and uh, I came upstairs and took the stuff out onto this kitchen roll after I'd had my breakfast and cup of tea. And then I thought, oh, I'll go out. I'll take the dogs out while i'm uh, up and about looks like it's going to rain so i've done that so these are pretty much dry now you can see it does miss a bit but what it gets is pretty good that's the, it's obviously missed all that because of the uh super glue so maybe next time it's probably a good idea to burnish before super gluing but it's done exactly the same 
is the last time I used burnishing fluid. All those bits in the middle never seem to get burnished, basically. I have no idea why. Here's the individual links. You can see they're pretty much the same. That bit in the middle. It never seems to get done. But on the whole, not a bad job. I'll still spray them. Um, what I've got is this uh, Vallejo. That's burnt iron, which is what I've used. And I've also got dark tracks somewhere i can't find it at the moment but it's definitely i've definitely got dark tracks um yeah so that's what's happened it's definitely missed that because of the super glue so if I was to use it again next time, I'll burnish all the links first and then join them together, I think. But hey-ho. Anyway, that's 107 links. Um, like I said earlier, when I offered it up on the uh, drive sprockets, it looked to be about three lengths three links short but don't forget uh, there's no uh, return rollers or anything on there yet so that might add a little bit onto it so I just did it between the two sprockets so that's it for tracks I'll put them to one side start on the next uh, length a bit later probably Thumbs up from me.